I was talking to one of my clients this morning who's sort of the champion for a major change initiative within her organization. And we were talking about some of the issues they're facing. And I mentioned to her a pattern I'd seen over the last several years, which she found pretty valuable. So I wanted to share it with you. Uh, if you had asked me about five years ago, what was the biggest pattern I saw uh, among the client companies I worked with worldwide, I would have told you it was lack of a well-communicated vision and strategy for growth. Lack of a well-communicated vision and strategy for growth. Uh, that the, the senior management team hadn't done a good enough job of clearly telling everyone in the organization, this is our vision, this is where we're going, this is where we hope to be, and here's the strategy for growth that's gonna get us there. Uh, and because it wasn't well-communicated, the organization wasn't well-aligned. Big, big problem I saw about five years ago. If you'd asked me three years ago, the number one issue I saw in most of the client companies I worked with was lack of open, honest, robust communication. Uh, there wasn't enough communication throughout the entire organization and the communication wasn't clear enough, frank enough, uh, they weren't speaking with enough candor. So that was a big problem, lack of open, honest, robust communication. But today, uh, the number one issue I see with almost all my clients uh, is lack of accountability or lack of disciplined execution. Um, they're all struggling with, you know, how can we get everything done with less people? How can we get the most important stuff done? Uh, I, I think I've mentioned this before in my videos. I, I teach a class at the Wharton School of Business every year on strategy and strategic thinking. And every year I ask my students who are all executives, uh, it's an executive class, um, what percentage of companies that you work with that you know about that in your own companies, what percentage of the time do they effectively execute their plans? And the answer has been for the last 11 years, about 10 to 15% of the time. So big, big problem. So the reason I want to put that together is, is to, to share those with you so you can look at your own organization and say, how well are we doing in these three areas? How well have we done at communicating a clear, vivid, compelling vision and strategy for growth across the entire organization? How good of a job have we done at clearly communicating all the important stuff with honesty and candor in multiple ways through multiple channels so there's lots of robust communication so everybody knows what's going on? And then number three is how well have we done at creating a culture of accountability or a culture of disciplined execution where people keep their promises and deliver the results they need to deliver on time according to the outcomes you're looking for? Uh, and by the way, I'll put a link down below uh, for the video I just recently did on the five steps to accountability. I did a program for Apple, boiled a whole bunch of my work down to just five clear steps it takes to make sure that you create a culture of accountability, what you got to do. So I hope those three things helped you. This is just sort of a take the pulse, look in the mirror, check. But if you're not doing those three things well, or any of those three things well, it's probably one of the first places to start in your organization to try to fix that area and improve things. I hope you found this helpful. Have a fantastic day.